Okay guys, so uh, I want to show you this plugin. Um, I'm not going to do a high piece sales type of video. I created this plugin because I wanted it for myself, okay, for my own domains. I felt there was a missing piece when it came to the RSS stuff and when it came to um, fast indexing solutions, especially indexing solutions that we could do within Google properties, okay? So what the plugin does is it will collect the post RSS feeds, the category RSS feeds, and you can mix it with any other RSS feeds that you choose as well. So for example, if you've got a, a video marketing blog uh, or a video marketing agency uh, and you want to put an authority or influencers RSS feeds in with um, your RSS feeds and then mash them up so that you, you, you're kind of aligning yourself to their influence, to their authority, um, then you can do that, okay? So for example, the video marketing agency, you might want to um, sort of put the RSS feed from Real SEO and maybe from um, the YouTube creators um, YouTube channel, for example, take the RSS feed from there and you can mash those RSS feeds up with your own, okay? Now, um, what happens then is we're gonna mash all the feeds into one URL and then we're gonna post it, uh, post it into Feedburner, which is um, Feedburner being a Google property, which can help us to get fast indexing. And because we are mashing all these feeds together, it's going to, going to look something like this. You can see here, I've got the same post, but with different URLs each time because of the way that I have done this within the plugin because we've used various um, versions of the RSS feed from the posts, the domain, the category, etc., etc. And you can see here that we have put in as well um, some authority site RSS feeds. And so we've got all this happening here um, via FeedBurner. And from here, we're going to syndicate it out, this one FeedBurner URL. And we're going to syndicate that out via indexing, via pinging. And you can also do it as well if you want um, via Google Docs, um, Google Excel, uh, and Google Spreadsheet, sorry, um, and make them public. Okay, so there's multiple things that we can do from here. But the main thing that I really wanted to build this for was the two things I've mentioned, to get really fast indexing, to do that combination of the different URLs so that we can get it into FeedBurner and from there we can really syndicate it. So we can go to bulk pinging services for RSS feeds, we can go to RSS directories and we can go to other Google properties as well. And don't forget that we are um, sort of branding ourselves with authorities and influencers within any niche that we choose, okay? So let's come over to the plugin over here. And you can see here, I'm just gonna refresh this page because sometimes WordPress um, wants me to log in again when I try to use a particular tool if I've had this open for too long. And you can see in here that I've got a whole bunch of categories in here on this particular website. Okay, now this is just a testing website. There's not, you know, any great content or anything here. We test this for multiple things. So what we can do underneath the each category, we can see to view the RSS, and we can open that up. Let's give it a second. You can see the RSS feed is, is correct, and that we can use this quite um, well. And then what we can do is we can click on mash RSS. So I'm going to open this up. And now we are given um, the first step in the wizard, okay? So what we can do is we are gonna mash up all the posts and all the, and, and with the category RSS feed and it, it will automatically put the domain RSS feed in here as well, okay? This all happens in the background. So what we can do now is we can add in here um, some RSS feeds from influencers. So if perhaps I want to do something like um, backlinko.com and search engine land. I'll go to backlinko.com and I'll go to search engine land. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the RSS feed from each of these um, websites and I've got 
um, a Chrome extension here that will tell me what RSS feeds are available. So I'll just click on this and it's saying there's no feed found. Sometimes that happens, but if this is a WordPress site, um, we can just simply do forward slash and feed and click on enter and you can see there is an RSS feed there. So I'm just going to copy this over to a notepad on my other um, screen over here. And for the next one, we will try again with this. Okay, you can see this time we do have um, the feed here showing. Um, be careful when you're taking an RSS feed from one of these extensions. There's a ton of these available inside the Chrome store. Um, but what we want to do is make sure we don't take the comments. Okay, we just want the feed for the content. Okay, I'll click on that and we can see the feed URL here. So I can just simply copy that and I'll put that on my txt file with the other um, feed that we just took. So what I can do now is I'm going to take those two feeds and you can see here it's opened up. This is a feed burner feed. So we're going to mix our content together with the feed from search engine people and from backlinko.com that can build some branding authority we're aligning ourselves with some authority sites within our niche so what i can do now is come back over into opera and i can simply paste in here these rss feeds okay so these will get mashed with our category rss with our individual post rss and with our domain rss feed at the same time Okay, now you can see here, I've already filled in the title and the description, okay? So you can take your title and description from the category that you have, have taken the RSS, RSS feed from originally. And this RSS feed was about lead bait, okay? So I've got lead bait, SEO hacks, and for description, SEO hacks for using lead bait to get traffic and branding, okay? Now this link here is quite interesting because if we look at um, the feed burner example in here, every single post that is within all of those feeds, the ones that you mash up together with your own, um, they're all going to have links going back to that, those particular pieces of content um, within your website. Okay, So what we can do with this is more, more interesting because we can actually use this to link to a YouTube channel, for example, okay, or to a video. Um, that you want to link to that is about that particular topic okay this is better for us because um, when we link to a specific video or a, cha or a channel and it's linking back into our website then we're just get getting extra syndication almost like a second tier link coming through and passing the link just back through to us okay so this is quite good this is the way I like to use it and I'll just click on submit And we've got to give it a few seconds. It's working in the background. It's mashing up those feeds together. So we do need to give it um, some time. And you can see here it's finished. And now we have an RSS feed here. I'll open that up. Okay. Um, just open this again one more time. Here, here we go. So we've got lead bait SEO hacks. And you can see all the different content that we got in here. Okay. And all of this is mashed up together and all of this is in one feed. Okay, so we have got this um, URL here. We're going to copy this link address. Um, we're going to put this into this section here that says feed burner URL. Okay, we will click on submit. Okay. Now, what's happened here is it's taken us into a new step, a new part of the wizard where we can ping and index the links. Click on that. And there we go. We're finished. Okay, really simple, really easy. Now, we will be adding some extra um, features in here over time. At the moment, this is the way it is, and that's why we're selling it so cheap. Um, so that you can use this, um, you know, for all of your categories and you can mash up together 
with other people's RSS feeds so that you know you can get that branding and you can get that extra influencer authority into the feed as well okay so when we do do some updates it will automatically update within WordPress you will see an update option like any other plugin and you know it's a great little, little plugin for what it's doing um, the other things that we want to add I will explain more inside the member area and I will give you some links as well um, that you might find useful for using with this plugin thank you